Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up a web-based email address, that's your domain email address, and then how to have Gmail collect your email and send your email for you as your domain address. So I'm logged into WP Gateway. I'm clicking on the cPanel login. Okay, and email is typically the first or second box at the top of your cPanel regardless of where your domain is hosted. So click on email accounts, create the email address you want to use, add your password, make sure it's good and strong, create account. Now if you click on go across from the email address you created you can see click on more if you wish you can access your webmail here so it'll take you to squirrel mail round cube or hoard doesn't matter which one you choose your mail goes to each of them they have slightly different features so go back here the other thing you find in more is configure your email client this is what I use for Gmail. So we'll now go to a Gmail account and when you log in you click on the gear at the top that's for settings and then scroll down the drop down box and click on settings and come across the tabs across the top and click on accounts and import down to add a pop mail account you own. Okay and the email address and next step actually going to paint the password there. Paint. <laughs> so I'm going to post the password there because I already had it copied. And if you want Gmail to leave a copy of the message on your server, you can do that, but you're going to need to remember to log in every so often and delete them because your email inbox will get very full. I want incoming messages to be labeled with the email address and then click on add account. Yes I want to be able to send mail as this address as well. So next step Karen Stavert and gain its and the password so it is so we want to change this here to my web dot WP gateway server dot com had the password add account okay so now there should be an email in my webmail account that wants me to set this up submit if the email address is just being set up it may take a few minutes to get your your confirmation message okay so here is the gmail confirmation it's set up now that I can send mail as my webmail address. And you come in here and copy this code. Go back to your little form here and click on verify. You could also click on this link here to confirm. So now you can also go to your accounts and import now your address is here you can now make this new webmail address your default email address so the when you compose it shows the from as your webmail address you can click the drop down arrow and change and that's it